Vegito! Alright, in this one, I have a pre-series video. It's, um, it's gonna be my raw thoughts here. I didn't actually, like, prep or anything to record this. I'm kind of just jumping into this with, you know, my thoughts. A little bit scrambled, however, I did, you know, think about it for a bit of time here. And um, it's a serious video concerning the current state of the game and PvP, right? PvP is the core game mode of Dragon Ball Legends. You jump onto this game to obviously collect characters, build teams, and compete with them in a ranked PvP. And they recently just had this um, this renovation, right? We're uh, currently undergoing a PvP renovation, and it's the second consecutive season of of this going on i'm trying to find that right now rating match renovation right here so basically um they made a bunch of quality of life changes a bunch of matchmaking changes and uh you know rp gain changes loss changes and the players that you're facing how the whole system works and from my experience of playing it last season right i'm a top player every single season for numerous seasons and I'm, I'm actually a day one player of this game so i would love for uh you know i cover this game every day i, I main you know content on this channel for this game so i'm passionate about this game for sure you know just being a dragon ball fan and whatnot it's just it feels like they really killed the game they were on a on a roll this year uh they were on a roll they were dropping solid updates hype events like just very solid like throughout the entirety of the year and then they tried and i was a huge fan of them announcing this just because this is a step in the right direction like obviously i would love to see things updated you know pvp wasn't perfect before even before still bugs you know lags dcs whatever the case is glitches the game is not perfect and that's not what i'm going to address in this video it's more or less the actual way um you match up with players in this game and um, it is very unfortunate that I have to actually make this type of video because PvP is almost unplayable. It's almost, um, it's not just unplayable, it's just, like, this is for instance, right? I'm just gonna make a point here. I'm gonna jump into ranked PvP right now. I'm whatever top rank 600. Uh, if I were to jump into a game right now, there is a very high chance it would be a bot match, right? And this is only the first, second day of the season, whatever. Not sure why they even include this in rating matches or PvP when PvP stands for player versus player. Uh, however, it is a very prevalent issue right now. Like, as a creator, I'm jump jumping in trying to showcase units, trying to whatever the case is. I'm not going to put bot matches in my videos. And literally, as the season started up, I had... 20 30 games of just me queuing into games queuing into games and i'm gonna check it right now to see if it if it's the case i don't really care about the rp or anything like that um but uh jumping into games and them having them be robots this is a robot this is a robot match and um larry you know you're not a real person or whatever you go check out my short I, I literally dropped a i'm not gonna go into consecutive matches and stuff like this but this is a huge problem this is such a turn off in the game right now because the way the matchmaking system works um comparative to how you know it was originally you know before they they did this renovation is you would rank up the leaderboards you know you can claim this game is not skill based and there's a lot of RNG mechanics, whatever the heck. There is a leaderboard in this game. I'm just going to. There is a leaderboard system in this game, which means that it is somewhat competitive the, for the fact that they are changing the system. I liked it. I liked the fact that they were going to go out of their way to attempt to make it more appealing to I, I like the competitive aspect of the game. Um, you could go ahead, like I said, comment. By the way, before we go deeper into this video, uh, please let me know in the comments. How do you guys feel about this update? And what are your thoughts or whatever, just in case this gets out to developers or like, you know, um, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to give you guys my full thoughts in this video. It's like I said, it's raw. There's no edits, no nothing here. I'm going to forfeit this game. I personally do not care, but this is not a real fight. And how the PVP matchmaking was handled before was basically you would climb up the leaderboards and the higher the uh, battle rank, by the way, the quality of life is like to step off topic, kind of still on topic, the quality of life downgraded. 
Formidable foe is like a, a myth, a rarity. Um, it doesn't apply to to players that are actually formidable foes majority of the times. Uh, the rating match, uh, the rating, the way that you get RP right now, it is a flat rate no matter who you play. If you're fighting a low rank player, a battle rank, an Andy, which means basically player that is a, a noob that you can easily wash a player, whatever, you're gonna get the same RP. From that guy as you're gonna get from the top ranking player in the world like if you beat that player any player in the game you're getting a flat rate which means there is no competitive aspect with climbing up the leaderboard right now if you guys check out the previous season um basically past top rankers so this last season was the highest ever in an arp like Highest ever RP achieved, I believe, in the history of the game. 112,000. By the way, this 25 Mastia Masita guy um, was number one for a large portion of the season. Actually, all three, or this guy at the bottom, two, he was previously named Marco, whatever, was climbing up the leaderboard. Um, you know, obviously just playing games. I've actually packed up that player or beat that player numerous times it doesn't matter if you're a better player or not a better player all that matters is if you consistently sweat the game longer than everybody else you sure obviously have to have a decent team consistent wins and be you know somewhat decent but doesn't matter because the next match if you lose a game you're basically guaranteed to get your rp back next match there's no hey i earned a higher rp gain because i beat a top ranked player no it's literally the same thing if i packed up this guy one game and i packed up a lesser you know a really low rank player i'm gaining the same thing per game so these guys that are achieving 106 112 literally did not do anything but play dragon ball legends and that changed the entire system this is coming from someone that actually has the motive the desire to push top rank or whatever it's not really difficult for me personally but to chase rank one right i, I don't have a season title yet i'm I've achieved top 10 uh, seasons multiple times, but not a rank one title yet, just because it is a huge time sink. And instead of, you know, updating it in a fashion to where it's more, hey, like you lose less RP, but you still gain a ton for like, you know, relevant wins, higher rank wins, whatever the case is, uh, because you know, it wasn't perfect. They put a flat rate, which means anyone, even non-God ranked players, have the capabilities. You literally just jump into ranked PvP and farm bots. You just jump in there and you're playing these bots. They're not even like bad players. You're farming robots. At a given point, obviously, you're going to run into real players. You're going to run into top ranked players or whatever the case is. But you farm robots to reach top one ranked PvP in the world, which is like the opposite of what they're trying to do which skill-based matchmaking um and it's a huge it's it just it's a turn off to even care about games or competitiveness of or whatever like that is one whole you know aspect of the game right now that is dead to me like they, like i jump on this game i don't want to play bots how about if i don't even want to be competitive how about if i just want to play the game if i jump into this next game right now it's going to be a robot you know why because i lost that previous like it doesn't even matter if i lost the previous game more likely than not, I'm going to run to another robot. This is not a real player. I'm not so far back in ranked PvP. I'm top 500, whatever the case is. Why am I playing robots? Why am I playing robots? Why am I playing robots? I don't know. I don't know who's, um, you know, the developers or whatever. You know, please, you know, drop a comment or whatever. If you someone's watching this, Toshi, bro, I love this game. I've been playing this game for five years. I've literally seen the ups and the downs of roller coasters. This is probably the worst update has ever dropped in the game. And it's such an unfortunate timing just because of how well this anniversary was handled. It's probably the best anniversary of all time, too. Best fifth Annie, right? Was it the fifth Annie? Yeah, I'm bugging. Fifth Annie was the best anniversary of all time. It was just like the value of the banners, the hype, and the overall, you know, the drops. There's critiques everywhere and whatnot but i'm gonna jump on twitter right now where basically um you know people have their critiques or like other players that are giving their opinions and whatnot me personally i have done this this is my twitter page you know uh self promo whatever um selfless uh selfless right here but yeah this is how i feel i feel just a disinterest to um to care about jumping into the game or play the game so like um ranked 
is terrible. You're facing bots. Uh, revert the ch revert to just the regular way it was, right? I, I feel like that's a flat thing that could be agreed upon in the community right now. I feel like even if you like, like you're like a uh, not a top ranked player or whatever, you want to jump in. I think the only way you can really enjoy this update is if you enjoy playing bots every single game, which it's not a PvP thing. It's a skill issue thing or whatever the case. You just need to build your teams better or be a better player or whatever because I'm not here to play bots. This is a, another popular, um, you know, uh, one of my friends online. He has reached rank one. He's a competitive PvP player in this game and whatnot, right? This is his concerns right here. He pretty much touched on everything here. Regional restrictions. So what I was saying before with... Um, the number one player achieved last season, right? That must hear this the Masita guy, right? Let's get to this here, right here. So basically, the the person that reached number two last season, number two, past top rankers, was on track to reach number one. So regional issues has always been a thing. This game has been a thing before this renovation. Um, by the way, we're in the preseason two right now. So I'm giving you guys an updated feel on how I feel after the post first season. Um, we're going into the second season. I feel like I have to make this video because it is occurring right now. This guy was on track, sweating the game like never before. Like he sees the the advantage. He doesn't need, need to win the top games. He just needs to basically outplay everybody. He was high in RP and somehow this player had a regional advantage. I'm not sure how it works or how he surpassed the other player in RP, but he out sweated the other guy. Who is basically, it's on Twitter confirmed, like the, the chats, uh, I'm not going to show that guy's chats or anything, but it was confirmed that the Masita guy was playing about 15 hours a day, every single day for two weeks. With how it was previously, obviously it was a huge time sink, but it wasn't anything like the Q would die out, you would get large RP gains for, you know, big wins, high RP, uh, you know, if you face top ranked players, actual formidable foes, you will gain a large lead and you would constantly gain a lead lead and the players that have low rankings and you beat them you just need to take down multiple more of those players to gain a certain amount of rp and i much prefer that and i believe the majority literally of the dedicated player base at least um prefers that uh the win streak bonus caps at 97 rp so you're literally getting a flat line rp and losses aren't punished there's really no incentive or like a reward for taking down formidable foes right now. You're just playing the game. If I decide to not sweat a match, I could literally forfeit a game and get the same amount of RP back next match. Um, it's the most demotivating or like incentive. Like, uh, I don't even know what the right word is, but it's so such a step in the wrong direction. Like, it's like, hey, I get it. You guys were trying to make the game good, whatever um you know you're running into when you run into the real players right that's another issue right now so lack of team diversity instead of running into like you know mixed games early season or whatever it's a sweat fest right off the rip of the game you're running into meta you're running into the top best players you're running into previously you would have a mix of you know lower ranks high rank players just because everyone's kind of just jumping into the season ranking up whatever this literally puts you against bots or literally the, you know, the utmost threshold of PvP, if that's where you qualify skill-wise or rank-wise or whatever it is, right? And it's just as a, it's a problem for me as a content creator because obviously I like testing out new teams. I like testing out lower star units. I like to have fun. I like to, and this goes for everyone. You don't need to be a creator to feel the same way or wanting to test out other units. You are literally required to run certain units in PvP now or it's not gonna go well, you're gonna lose a game, and then you're gonna get stuck in a cycle of a billion bots, right? So this guy's found zero positives to highlight with the match. This guy is very um, specific too. I feel like he, he usually touches on things uh, very, very well. Like he's like, uh, don't think this Legends PvP has ever been worse for, the, for him to even say this, right? Uh, I seen a post from Goresh, which happens to be like one of the biggest Legends tubers and if he has a problem with it right i don't know where it is i thought i replied on it but this is actually the number two guy right here um a lot of people were hating on the as much as he grinded he did what he could I and mean, i'm not here to hate on anybody's life i do think the fact that he spent a lot of time kind of um neglecting his life not taking care of his health whatever 
to play this game was a huge, huge problem. And it's, you know, it's what you needed to do to rank this high this season. But um, it is, you didn't need to do this previous seasons. You didn't need to literally, you know, screw up your mental health. You kind of just expired the queue, refreshed the queue, jumped back in and played for like two to three to four hours, something like that, five hours max. This guy playing 15 hours a day just to get his max RP. Max RP can possibly get to have an extent lead just to get number two is is insane. It's insane. I'm going to um, show you guys the post here from Goresh, which does happen to be the one of the biggest Legends tubers right now. And he actually is referring for people to actually make a post to let people know, let this information be spread out. And he has a, a huge problem. Everyone is kind of recognizing um, how severe this issue is because it's detrimental to the core game mode. I personally would have been really happy if they implemented a brand new game mode. Something I've been hoping for that for a really long time, right? The game isn't, you know, competitive. I know it's not like um, the most competitive. There's obviously um, a lot of things that you can't control in the game. And you can lose to Rush. You can lose to PV. You can lose to Stars. Uh, random 50 50 flip coins and whatnot but there's a lot of skill in the fact of knowing mechanics and making optimal plays in the right situations certain timings and even you know just equal star games like top rank games where you're literally running the same team versus the same mechanics who can best one another in the, such a fashion um but yeah this is uh you know this is my uh kind of inputs like i said this is very raw this is very very raw uh and um, I'm giving you guys, this is where I ranked last season, by the way. It's kind of where I normally rank top 20, top something like this, on like without actually giving too much of my time. All right, I literally play two to three hours every day, and it still took me to hit rank 20, something like that. I wasn't playing that much more. It's just I have less of a... It's less rewarding. You're jumping into a game that's less rewarding. It's taking several steps back. Um, I'm not a fan of this update. I'm sure like 90% of plus of people are actually not only quitting the game, taking a break from the game, not caring about the game. Why would I want to jump into a game to play a robot? It doesn't make any sense to me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I probably am missing out on something here, but um, I'm bound to get a robot because I've lost whatever the, the match is, whatever. But um, this isn't fun. Um, being a player that has played this game for as many years as I have, I've seen you know, the changes to implement, I I can understand they wanted to do a positive change here and not only benefit the players that want to remain competitive, match those players up together, but help the lower players not match up the top ring. I feel like if they would have just left it alone in this aspect, people would have still ran into both sections, right? Less or lower rank, less star players would have ranked amongst each other. And then once a blue moon, you would run into someone that has the stars, has the like pay to play situation, whatever. Right now, it's a very unhealthy environment for people that don't know any better, people that want to chase rank one, people like me that want rank one but know better. I'm not going to put in 24 hours a day for two weeks to get a title that's not even skill-based anymore. Like, skill-based as in, hey, I have the highest lead because I took down the top players consecutively. I have a higher ratio. I have a higher win rate. Those things that matter. Right now, it's who plays the most. I'm not playing the most whatever. I love this game. I love Dragon Ball. I love creating content. Um, I really want to see this game, you know, thrive. Obviously, this is my main content on this channel. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm going to... Uh, hopefully, I really got to everything. And uh, I'm sorry if this video was a little bit all over the place. I kind of just throw my thoughts out there. I didn't put sit down and put this down. But this is a very serious matter in the fact that this could be detriment to the game. This is the main game mode. And if it's like this... Nobody cares anymore. Like, nobody's going to want to care. Why would I want to play robots? It doesn't make any sense. Um, like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the very next one. Stay frosty. Peace.